everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change your screensaver on your MacBook computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by selecting the Apple icon on the top bar of your Finder window. If you do not see this, just make sure you close or minimize any programs you may have open. And then once you see this tab up at the top like you see it, go ahead and select the Apple icon and then select System Preferences. Give it a moment to load here. And then you want to go and select Desktop and Screensaver. Should be the second button on this list. Select the Screensaver option on the right side. It might automatically default you to the Desktop button, but you want to go ahead and select Screensaver. And then you have plenty of screensaver options over here on the left side you can change between. To change it to whatever option you like, you do word of the day, if you had a specific message you could change it as well. So again, very straightforward here guys, and if you were to just select whatever one you like, and then you can see where it says shuffle slide order, you can. If you want to switch between different screensavers, you can, otherwise you can uncheck it, or deselect that option there. So you can see where it says show a clock or use a random screensaver. You can choose those options as well if you want to have the clock up there too. Or if you just want to switch between the screensavers that the default you to, you have that option there. So again, very straightforward process, guys. And click into the drop down. And you have different sources. So you can select your different photo albums, perhaps. If you have a specific folder or photos, you could select that as your screensaver rolling options as well as a photo library. So again, very straightforward process here, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.